hello darlings welcome back to my channel so today I'll be doing a Kim Kardashian West inspired makeup look and this is the look she did for her collaboration with her makeup artist Mario and I decided that I was gonna do it because I loved how it looked so the first thing I'm gonna do of course is prime my lids and I'm using the LA girls concealer in porcelain I'm gonna place that on my lids and then I'm gonna use a brush to blend that out back to the planet Okay, so in my crease area, I'm just going to place that blue and the palette I'm using is from Shaney. I forgot the name. I will leave it on the screen for you guys, but I didn't really like the payoff of this shade. So I'm going into my Morphe 35C palette and I'm going to use that blue to just place into my crease area and blend it back and forth until I get it as faded as I want it to be. Okay, so whilst I'm applying that blue shade, I am buffing it out as I go along because I don't want it to be too harsh. That won't be the focal point of the look. Of course, it's going to be the lids, but I just want that nice, soft, blended transition from that blue. Okay, so because I want my lip color to be really intense, I'm going to go ahead and use this LA Girls Pro Concealer in porcelain again. And I'm just going to apply that all over my lids because I really, really want that blue to stand out and pop, of course. Okay, so for my lid color, I'll be using the Juvia's Place Nubian 2 palette and the color I'll be using is called Cleopatra and it's a beautiful royal blue. And what I'm going to do is just place that all over the lid where I've placed my concealer. I'm going to pat that on until I get the desired amount. I need you here tonight to cover up these empty sheets Cause I'm incomplete Okay, honeys, so it's time to blend everything out because we don't want any harsh lines. We want to blend out all the harsh lines so the eyeshadow looks as if it's just coming from heaven above. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to line my eyes with the Sephora Cold Pencil. I really love this pencil. It's intense and it's long-lasting. Then I'm going to go ahead and use Cleopatra, the same shade I used on my lids, just to sweep underneath my lash line area. And I'm just going to smudge that out. And I know that just fragments of a world where your absence all I get to see. Take me back to the planet, the planet where you and I are still meant to Cause I'm 
Okay, so I'm going to use the LA Girls Pro Concealer in Fawn just to highlight these areas. Then I'm going to set that with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Guys, I forgot to mention that I did my lashes off camera. I started off with the creme lashes, but then I ended up taking those off and putting on the Ardell lashes. I wish I had stuck to the creme lashes. So now I'm dusting off the excess powder. I'm just going to go ahead and use my MAC MSA powder in dark deep to set all the areas and make sure that everything is blended nicely and I don't have any harsh line or white cast on my face. I don't know whether Kim was glowing, I couldn't see her cheeks, but I'm just going to go ahead and apply some highlighter from the GWA palette, it's their Glowed palette. I'm going to apply some of that on my cheeks and a little bit on the tip of my nose. And for my lips, I'll be using the NYX Butter Gloss in Ginger Snap because Kim had a very, very simple lip. It just seemed as if she just put some lip gloss on and that's exactly what I'm doing to complete the look. I do hope you like it guys. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, share. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.